it's, it's mind-bending to me who even thought this was a good idea. It, it's crazy. But, but of course somebody did. Somebody thought it was a fantastic idea. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever met Greta Thunberg? No, but me, me and her have had some ar internet arguments. I, I think you went to prison for it, right? Yeah, correct. Which is amazing because I'm a climate change activist. So I'm on her team. You know, I was in Sweden during COVID. So we could have met. She didn't want to hang out with me, unfortunately. And then now I'm flying around on my jet everywhere spreading news about climate change. Same thing. Like in my Bugatti, obviously it's got a big engine. I, I make sure to talk about climate change out the window as I drive. But I'm on her side. She doesn't seem to be very You very yell at the surfs as you pass about climate change? Yeah, don't eat meat. Eat the bugs. What's wrong with you people? You don't care about the earth? Like, if, if, you, don't, if you don't start caring about climate change, all those politicians with beachfront property are going to lose their houses. Yes. And they're very concerned about climate change, which is why they bought their houses on the beachfront, so they can be the first to let you know it's coming. The early warning system, right? They're very concerned. That's why they want to be right there on the beach. Quite honorable, if you think about it. Kind of, kind of on the front lines of the climate crisis. Absolutely. Lead from the front. <laughs> so good. Um, but one more point about this. Sorry. Sorry to go on and on. No, I love it. But when I say these things, people, you don't care about the environment. And I try and explain to them, I love nature. You love hunting, fishing. You love yes. nature. I love nature. Passionately. The problem with all of these things is not that I don't like nature. The problem is that nearly any issue which appears to be virtuous on the planet today is Trojan horsed with garbage. That's the problem. Yeah. I have no problem with fixing or maintaining or preserving nature. I have a problem with them telling me I have to maintain nature, them Trojan horsing my bankruptcy into the middle of it, knowing that nature won't be fixed, then telling me it's about nature and telling me I should agree with it. That's my problem. There's, no, there's nothing left on the planet, no issue, which isn't Trojan horsed with absolute garbage. Yeah. And if you're going to sit there and tell me that I need to give more money to the government to stop the sun from being hot, I'm going to argue with you that I'd rather keep my money. Thank you very much. Yes. So this is the problem with all these issues. It's nearly anything. When I argue against some people, like, you don't care about the issue. I do. But you're not smart enough to understand that the legislation around this issue is so large, it hasn't even been read by most of the people voting for it. Yeah. And there's something in the middle of it which is going to damage every single person's life which has nothing at all to do with the issue itself. And most people don't understand that. They co-opt people's best instincts. Their love of nature, which is a virtue, of course. Yep. Their love of their neighbors during COVID. Don't you care about your neighbors? Oh, well, completely. Of course you do. And your grandparents, I revere my grandparents. Of course, of course. And, okay. you're a ba and you're a bad person if you resist. I was a terrible person for going to Sweden. You're a very bad person. You don't care about anyone else. To... And that's how they do. It's weaponized virtue. And the, the, my opposers, Every single virtuous thing that comes out of their mouth is never from a place of virtue, it's from a place of hate. Yes. It's weaponized. And also, and I don't talk about this very often, but people can go right now to tatepledge.com. I donate $25 million a year to feeding children in war-torn countries, especially in the Islamic world, because that's where a lot of the war is. Nobody ever mentions that, ever. Nobody mentions any of the charitable work I do. Nobody mentions any of the lives I save. Nobody mentions any of the people who support me. They don't mention anything at all. They just come along and say, you're a bad person. And I say, well, if I'm a bad person, let's talk about the things you've done to genuinely benefit humanity besides sit on Twitter and talk shit. Have you ever done anything for anybody ever? Are you capable of doing anything? Because the things that make me a bad person, right? You don't like me for my principles and the fact I stand up for myself and the fact I have parameters and I say no, everything you hate about me. Those are the things that allow me to even do good in the world. If I was like you, mush, goo, I couldn't even help anyone. If you had to help someone today, how could you even do it? You're broke and you're lazy and you're stupid. You can't even, you can't even enlighten anybody. You can just spread hate. How is that helping the world? These people are a net negative, genuinely. And that's what's so crazy about being attacked for your morality like I'm being now. And when you're a good person in general, they attack your morality because the people who are attacking you are absolutely not immoral. The ultimate hypocritical, hypocriticism, ultimate even more than my private jet climate change stance. So it's, it's certainly unique. I do like to believe, though, we're entering a new stage of consciousness. I do like to believe, at least from 10 to 15 years ago, more people are, I think COVID woke some people up. I do like to believe the MSM credibility is tanking in real time. Trump helped massively. Fake news. Two words. Before Trump, when did you ever hear fake news? I didn't really hear it that often. No. 
fake news, fake news, fake news. And he did a fantastic job of that and he's starting to wake people up. So I'd like to believe there's a degree of us winning, but I just want to make it very clear to the people who attack me and the people who attack anybody who stands up for what they believe in, a lot of their virtue, their virtue, their virtue signaling is just hate peddling. And when they can't call you unsuccessful and they can't call you stupid, they have to find a way to hurt you. And the only way they can do that is to say you're a bad person. I've noticed. I've noticed. <laughs> yes, yes, I have.